Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. Today I'm going to make a little experiment using a Pertier cell. This is a thermoelectric device. If you don't know these cells well, they work in the following way. You apply a current to the terminals of the cells and one side gets hot and the other gets cold. That is, you convert the electric energy into thermal energy. And they also work in reverse. That is, if you make a temperature difference, you apply heat to one side and the other is cold, then at the terminals you will obtain electric energy. You will get a current at the terminals. These cells are commonly used in small refrigerators, portable refrigerators and also to cool electronic circuits. Now I want to make a little experiment which consists in the following. We connect the cell to a power supply and one side will get hot and the other cold. What will happen if we submerge the cell in water? The water will maintain the same temperature, the water will get hot or will get cold. One may think at first instance that since one side is cold and the other hot, both effects will cancel out and the water will remain at the same temperature. Will that happen or to the contrary the water will change its temperature? hotter or colder. Well, before making the experiment, I want to give you an hypothesis. Notice that we are putting energy into this system. The Pertier plus water is a system and we are putting energy into it. What will happen to this energy? Remember that energy is not created nor destroyed, it will only transform into other type of energy. So the energy entering as electric energy into the system, what happens to it? Well, it will not convert into kinetic energy because nothing is moving. Also, it will not convert into potential energy because everything will remain at the same height, the same level. And also, it will not convert into chemical energy because we don't have any chemical reactions happening here. So the only option is that the electric energy will convert into heat, into caloric energy. So the hypothesis is that the temperature of the water will rise. So, let's make the experiment and check it out. Okay, I have the Peltier cell in the beaker with water and connected to the power supply. And I will ch check the temperature. The water is at 30 degrees Celsius. 
so let me turn on the power supply so that the energy flows into the cell and check the temperature we are at 30 degrees remember that water has a very large heat capacity that means that it can take a lot of energy before the temperature starts to rise that is why water is used as a refrigerant of course but we are now at 31 degrees let me increase the voltage in the Peltier cell Thirty two thirty three degrees Celsius. So it is rising the temperature as expected. We need to move because we need to homogenize the temperature of the water. As you can see, we are now at 34 degrees Celsius. So we now have four degrees above the initial temperature, 35 degrees. Okay, we are now at 36 and I think it is clear that the water increases the temperature as the energy flows into the system. So we can say that our hypothesis was correct. The temperature of the water increases when we turn on the Peltier cell. I think this is an excellent experiment for a school project because you could also measure the heat capacity of water by calculating the total energy that flows into the system, which is the product of voltage times current times the total time elapsed and measuring the temperature difference from beginning to end. Of course, you will need to insulate your beaker so that no heat flows outside your system. So there you have it. That's all for today. I hope you liked this experiment. If that is the case, please visit my Patreon page. Thanks for coming to my channel and see you in the next video.